Okay, so I wish someone could tell me what the deal is with cars that have to tell you everything that you have to do all the time. I understand that, for instance, if I have something in the passenger seat in the front, and if I, let's say, I don't know, let's say I have a bag of insert your favorite not good for you snack here, some kind of corn chip. But let's say I'm reaching for them. The car freaks out because it thinks someone is in that seat and it starts dinging. How is this keeping me safe? I'm just trying to eat some chips. I'm reaching over to eat some chips. Ding, 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 ding. Well, then my attention isn't on anything other than how do I stop the dinging? How do I get my hand out of the bag? What do I do with the chips? Do I put them in my mouth? Do I put them back in the bag? Now I've got that kind of gritty feeling of salt and crumbly chip on my finger and maybe it's greasy and you know, do I wipe it on my pants? Do I wipe it? What do I do? Do I drive with one hand? All because of this idea that it's in the interest of public safety. While we're on public safety, what is it with cars that lock once you start going 15 miles an hour? I, I do not understand this. If, let's say, I've apprehended someone um, and I'm trying to bring them to justice, uh, they're going to get out before the car is moving 15 miles an hour. Let's say someone's trying to carjack me they're going to do it before I'm moving 15 miles an hour. Let's say my two-year-old is trying to get out of the car. The two-year-old is going to try to get out of the car before the car is moving 15 miles an hour. So there's this shock of at 15 miles an hour everything going chunk and locking. So then I go like this. Who is getting safe from this? Where is the safety? Where is the safety, I ask you?